feel free to flash forward whenever, blah, blah, blah. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so retake tips. If you are retaking, like I was, if you are retaking, it is so much more stressful, I know, and just dangerous because it is risky. And as most of us pre-meds, like we are not really natural risk takers, you know, and uh, in as a whole, like we are not those entrepreneurs who like doing risky type um, deals and whatever. We want a stable career doing something that we love, helping people. And that is fine, but retaking is risky. And I have some friends who are retaking 517s because they think they can do better um, or because like one section is just super low and imbalanced MCAT scores are worse than, you know, more balanced MCAT scores. So my retake tips are mainly very mental. So the first non-mental slash emotional tip is to really, really assess where you went wrong. What fucked you up? What was it? Um, and it might not be just one thing. It might be a multiple array of things. It might have been your, you were like, in my case, I was rushing it. Uh, I was rushing this process too much because I just wanted to get to where I wanted to be um, and I wasn't really taking in reality and the process that was needed to get there and just enjoying you know the process even if it's slower than I wanted it to be it's just you have to you know accept reality and um, it could also be that you just weren't detail oriented enough when you were studying the first time maybe you just didn't care enough at that point in time. Um, so this leads, this relates to, you know, the mental emotional states. Like, did you really want it enough? Did you um, study enough? You know, like it really, a lot of it comes down to that. Were you actually studying as much as you were planning to, or were you getting distracted, sidetracked, even if you were spending that time in the library? Like how efficiently were you studying? What kind of materials and resources were you using? Were you practicing enough? Were you doing like a whole bulk of content review and not enough actual legitimate practice? You, you need to find that out. You know, you have to find that out. If you want more help in this, feel free to contact me and like maybe you can do a session or something, you know, if you really want to. But that's besides the point. Point is, learn from your mistakes. Point two, believe in yourself. You have to really, really believe that you can go higher. You need to believe from your core that you can do this. And only you can change this mindset or really reaffirm this mindset okay like you need as much belief in your own capabilities and abilities and endurance as you can on a monster exam like this okay it's seven freaking hours four subjects well four categories but seven like seven plus subjects it is a monster it is not easy and this goes to my third point. Um, respect the exam. Even if you're going into it the second time, that does not make you like some kind of expert in the exam, you know, just because you've done it once already. Respect the freaking exam. It is not easy, right? But you can overcome it. Respect it, okay? Respect the exam and use it as motivation like use your past failure as this increased drive not as a burden but rather a drive okay they might people might not think you can do it again people might not think you should be retaking a 515 or a 517 but if you know that is your weak weakest link if you know that can get you to where you want to be in the future don't listen to them fuck it fuck them it's fine. You do you. You know what you want. And if you know you are capable of it, then use that external kind of disbelief and whatever or anything else or the toughness of the exam as fuel, as motivation. Whew. Okay. Now, 
other aspects of the MCAT that I want to talk about is this balancing practice and content review. I think a lot of people mess this up. A lot of people focus more on content review than practice. And MCAT, so from um, spending basically most of my college years, like two years or more of like this college time having MCAT like always on the back burner and thinking about it a lot. Uh, and then like practicing it a lot for my second retake. Um, I've noticed that the MCAT really is, it's, you have to know how to take the MCAT. It is not pure content. You can know everything and still do poorly or just mediocre. Um, you need to understand how to take the MCAT. So in certain ways, it is a skill that you obtain through practice, through drilling. So I think it really much relates to like something like art and sketching, you know, which is the basic premise of my channel, right? Um, of art, like the MCAT in certain ways is like an art, you know, people can argue that no, no, no dear, like art is defined as this, blah, 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 blah. But if you, if you mentally kind of envision the MCAT as an art form that you are trying to perfect and be skilled in, then you can probably do a lot better, you know, than just seeing it as like this manual labor-ish thing, because you need a lot of precision. You need to pick out key details from the passages and apply that to the question. You need to be able to think on top of your toes. You need to be able to breathe and be mentally focused and sane. It is such an art form. It is like a sport. You know, taking this exam is like running a marathon. It's longer than a marathon, but it's like that same concept, right? So whatever kind of metaphor gets you through, use it. <laughs> I don't care if it's politically correct or whatever. Use that metaphor to guide you during a time like this because you're going to need as many metaphors as you can find. Just kidding. You'll be fine. <laughs> okay. And specific resources. Uh, so the second time through, I've realized that a lot of online resources are really great and actually possibly even better than book form because it helps you practice taking the MCAT, you know, on a computer, which is what you're going to be doing for the exam itself. Really recommend UWorld. Atlas is pretty good. Uh, their science sections are pretty good. Their car section is crap. Um, Next Step is great. Like, they have a lot of uh, additional practice exams I can do. Obviously, AMC. Do all the AMC material, but don't always think that the real exam is going to be as easy as some of the AMC material. Um, always expect the worst. And so what else? Khan Academy, amazing. Like, I just love that nonprofit organization and its goals. Um, so, and the MCAT material is really great for critical reading, for biology and for psych. Um, they have some physics sections as well, but I guess the physics was okay as well. Like they just have a good array of things. Um, psych is especially good from Khan. So if you don't have time to do everything, psych Khan is amazing. And the Reddit subreddit, the subreddit um, on Reddit for Themcat, um, I personally really enjoyed, especially if you're going to be studying by yourself and you're the kind of person who kind of wants a little more social interaction once in a while <laughs> instead of, you know, purely staying in the library all by yourself, which is also something you need to just reconcile with and be okay with doing, you know, once in a while. Um, but if you can find a friend, obviously, that could be good as well, but don't. Don't feel this need to rely on other people when you're, especially if you're taking an exam like this, which is very individual, right? It can be very individual in how you want to study and what subjects you need to study and the score that you want to get. Um, I don't think you should let someone else's motivations and effort um, impact you unless they're like even better um, and more motivated, obviously, but sometimes 
friends might not be and you love them for who they are but you don't want something someone to like set you back right as well uh, but that emotional support is great so emotional support obviously great um, subreddit gives you that kind of emotional support um, in certain ways right obviously not the same as in-person emotional support um, it allows you to connect with people in your in same area um, if you do want to find a study buddy and it gives you a lot of resources there's a lot of crazy people on the subreddit so don't let it like psych you out too much but it does give you a lot of good resources as well because there is such a high concentration of amazingly driven people who've gotten like 525s you know perfect scores um, and um, might you know give you like this key advice that really helps you so as long as you use it wisely and don't get too sucked into like the craziness and the excess of pre-med stress on there then it is also a really good resource that i would highly recommend um especially if you need a little added motivation here and there so yeah a lot of it is also self-awareness you know being self-aware enough to know what you need and to understand how you test take and what your biggest weaknesses are like for me one of my biggest weaknesses was not paying attention to details either in the question stems or just the whole passage itself or just like content review you know that's a huge biggie like detail is really really important in an exam like this and i had to train myself to have this added attention to detail um to pretend that it's super detail oriented because everyone has you know a trait inside of them that they might through like labeling themselves um think that they don't have but you can always develop that skill so before this video gets way too long because i noticed that it's already like 23 minutes um i'll leave it at that if you have any more questions i can like do a part two or something and I can also like do specialized videos on the MCAT. Um, it's something that I think I can really talk about for forever and don't want to do that. So hope this helps all of you out there. Let me know if you have any additional questions, if you want any help, if you want any specialized tutoring, I'd be happy to do it as well. Um, I've been considering maybe doing some individualized tutoring because a lot of this is something that you need to that you need to like meet face and face face to face with someone to really talk about a lot more. Uh, but that was my basic tips, and I hope it's helpful to some of you. Bye. See you tomorrow for my um, sketches. <laughs>